black trunks bouncing. It's just a very big ring, and they, you know that part of that is it's kind of a uh, thrill for a guy that's been around uh, during the first round. That, uh, as a matter of fact, Virgil Hill looks more than so fights or eight or ten fights. Oh, nice right hand took the game because the WBA has created an opportunity. Nice combination landed by Virgil. And you look at his body, he's in tremendous shape. I could punch, but I couldn't kick. <laughs> no, but you know, this is... Well, he's got to be selective, and he has a... That's the thing, if he's going to fight, it's got to be a great... And he says, that's why I'm still boxing. If I can still do it on a world... That's his strategy, fight. I don't know. If, if it... He's never been past the uh, round number six. The second round, the jab of Hill continuing. Not all heard them saying the round, the one-two will land for you if you'll do it. Now, so when you throw that many good jabs, you're going to get a round. He looks good in the first two rounds of this fight against Rudolph. I there remember that fight in 19... But it gives the guys how you feel about it, by the way. I want to give my rebuttal in Spanish, you know that? <laughs> There you go. Lo que está diciendo el coronel no tiene razón. That is a Brudoff landing a couple of shots, but I don't know if he's done enough in the yeah. throughout the course. But he's getting his movement slattering, as Al pointed out. If he throws it. So there's a TKO variety. That's a, that's a taller order than uh, the way I'm making it sound, but what's, he's trying to try to get this guy. That's a virgin. Very master the German, who, who also was kind of a... He didn't have much uh, fluidity to it at all. He throws his right hand and finally catches him in the left. A little bit. Uh, Virgil Hill threw a left took a moment ago, which he doesn't do very... Uh, it resulted in him getting Good time by Brudoff. And a lot of that has to do with... Where that would take him with Brudoff? Well, I'd like to see it, but that isn't the way he's going. More. It's one of the punches he can land against Virgil Hill. This is the... Uh, <clears throat> The rabbit punch, if you will. The Tropicana, Atlantic City. The idea by watching Rudolf in this round that he left. Uh, has. Uh, Rudolf, you know, behind the ear. Right. Instead of all that fainting, there's the jab again from Rudolf. Cover is to jab. That's the only way, really. This is still skilled. Very skilled. And in the part of Brudov, I mean, he... The, in the outset, you know, this is a huge step up in class for a guy that we don't know a lot about. He's a very good fighter, as I know that Michelle Carey has, has handled so many fighters, but he knows the fight game. Good shot that time. Is uh, very, very into this fight. Hey. And there's a good straight right hand by Brudov. A little bit more, although that highlight, the uh, little package we saw there, would want to, uh, you know, certainly edge toward Brudov, but that isn't the way... Two-year-old. Try to win a fight by moving and boxing the entire way. Well, uh, I'm not a proponent of guys fighting over 40 Ooh. years of age. And punches and less movement. Yeah. From so, well, I talked about the puffiness and two to Brudov that he can't be hurt with about uh, to pick up the pace. Cut on the left eye of Virgil Hill now. A bad cut. And Brudov has really picked it up. Virgil battling back gamely, but it's a very okay. bad cut. There's the right hand right on top of it. Another right hand on top of the left eye. It is Brudov's power coming now. Well, maybe he waited to the sixth round. And now he's got that jab going. You got Virgil on the defense now. And Virgil pouring with the left hand now. Rudolph comes right through it. Cracks him with another right hand. This is bifling around. And no movement from Virgil Hill, which maybe tells you that he can't move right now. Well, there's the left hook landing again. Rudolph has landed more flush punches in this fight, in this round, than at any stage in the fight. This is the kind of a shootout that Virgil Hill has never prospered in. Virgil has not only a beat up looking face, but look at concern. And here is the, the best round for Brudov. He unleashed his power on Virgil Hill, opening in above that left eye. And all of a sudden, the right hand of Brudov was getting in there, backing up Virgil Hill. For mm -hmm. Virgil Hill, that isn't the way he found was dictated totally by uh, Brudov. Well, Virgil Hill on, but he's not doing anything offensively. And Brudov is pot shotting, pretty good leg. He's just biding his time before he catches Hill. The right hand and uh, fighting his time, waiting for that I can get in. The fact that uh, that uh, you know, the champions uh, and some of the managers of Brudov came to and spoke. A slight him. slowing of the movement. In his best round of the fight, the last round. This is this is a fight, and now we'll see if he can maintain this way of fighting. So I didn't do the fight in South Africa. Different. Yep. If, that, if he doesn't get that, he might beat him. Yeah. So in the first two minutes of that round, I, I, I certainly give it the hill. And unless Rudolph can land some power shot instead, it's Virgil Hill. Virgil's out boxing. Good lateral movement. He's going to be a big factor. As well. Boy, he's moving extremely well. He definitely needs to win every single one, keeping that under control. 
And is the move with an end to this fight? Bell Reeves said that. He's just following. He should be sliding to different premium place time things. They were fighting here. They weren't coming in to fight Joe Frazier. You know, they're not the fight up in his toes like well, that. He, he was moved. using the jab and move. Yeah, not as much as he's moving now. Lateral movement for the most part. Good job. Now, you know, he doesn't gauge at all. So that's the, the flip side of all this. And also now he'll looking a little bit ragged in terms of the kind of movement. And here he comes back and uh, lets it fly. But inch and Virgil Hill, just when it looked like his movement was a bit awkward, was a bit of a man tired, and all of a sudden he's from Skov, Russia. There's more action right there. Virgil Hill mixing it up. There's never been this far into a fight. Easier said than done as Alice Virgil with that jab stabbing the head back of Budok. And there's a crushing right hand that time by Virgil. Boy, this is a boxing lesson right here, though, by Virgil Hill. Oh, not and able. They know what they should do, but they just can't do it physically. Meanwhile, this is a scheduled 12 round fight. We're in the 10th round. We and look at Virgil Hill. Well. Listen to the crowd. They don't know it. I'll be able to make him pay for that. I don't want to mix it up. And when he did back in the fifth and sixth. Hey, remember, this is not. You said this is uncharted territory for him. And here comes he's back up on his toes again. He has in the arsenal. A very effectively. Double jab again. He's winning this round with 14 seconds to go. This and here he is. Doing exactly yeah. what he's Going to the body from time to time. Brudoff never able to go ahead and unleash his power inside. Because in uh, Atlanta City, New Jersey. As Virgil like all this boxing is that he has had his moments offensively. In round when I thought that uh, Brudoff might... He's never fought a fighter with anyone in applying it all. Yeah. Everything he's in. Grit in his, in his eyes and in his face. Famous left. And this could have had to trouble. We thought maybe that was fatigue, but it really, since then, it's been total movement. But then that was, and all of a sudden, it was interesting in his corner was saying, they had so much confidence in, in this him. fight. Round number 11, and it's been nothing short on action throughout. This is as good a cruiserweight championship fight as I've seen in a long time. And we saw a pretty good cruiserweight fight just a month or so ago. That's for sure. And you know, one of the most important things they said to him, just use that jab. Sails over the head that time. He's throwing some serious. Tonight. This has been a very nice fight. You can hear the crowd uh, as Al and certainly Benny and I have been into this fight at all. Look at this. Here's Virgil trying to close it out with a flurry. And Brudoff tries to. And why not? This was a moment for this young man, and he couldn't quite get it done. He didn't develop on. And yet another shot down the line. Oh, my. And Virgil loads up the shot and almost falls down. And the new WBA. Cruiserweight champion!